We are talking the Parapod, a very British ghost hunt. And this one is uh, directed and actually stars uh, Ian Boldsworth, who is kind of the uh, one of our characters here, playing himself ultimately, along with Barry Dodds. And they are a couple of uh, real podcasters who do a podcast called The Parapod, where one is a believer, one is a skeptic, and they kind of discuss and argue ultimately about various uh, paranormal phenomena uh, and do investigations and things like that. And this is their kind of movie version where we have essentially a road trip movie where these two guys are traveling up the country towards Scotland, checking out a kind of few areas of interest along the way uh, to look at and investigate a variety of paranormal stuff and see if one can convince the other, etc. What will happen? you have to watch the movie and find out. So it's kind of a mockumentary slash kind of found footage film. Uh, and I gotta say, it's it's obviously this Parapod podcast is apparently quite popular. It's not something I've ever um, heard of before. And I myself am a skeptic, if you were wondering about these kind of things. And then to be honest with you, I'm always skeptical about professional skeptics. Because I thought, well, why are you even in this field if you are skeptical about it? Surely you have to have some kind of interest in it to begin with. But I digress. Uh, so what do we what do we think of this uh, this movie? So this is a, a weird little kind of like uh, mockumentary film with no real plot. To be honest, it's, it's kind of just following these two guys getting up to shenanigans, to be honest. And it, is, it also has a very much a comedic edge. Um, Boldsworth, it, I feel, is trying to channel Ricky Gervais. Uh, he's, he's kind of like comedy stylings. He's trying to be super kind of sarcastic. And his comedy reminds me very much of, of, of the style of kind of Ricky Gervais. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's a big fan and is kind of trying to kind of somewhat emulate it, to be honest with you. Uh, Dodds, on the other hand, is is kind of, I mean, they're playing themselves. I mean, should be they're they're kind of playing kind of, um, you know, fictionalized versions of themselves because he just comes across as a complete idiot, to, to be brutally honest. And then we kind of get a few kind of like, uh, you know, bits of kind of found footage style kind of camera work here and there. Um, so it's, it's kind of a, a, a somewhat amusing uh, experience. There are some uh, amusing moments within here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a somewhat of a different take on the kind of the found footage sort of genre to a degree. So I'll, I'll kind of give it that because it almost feels like it's, it's kind of a movie, but it's obviously using kind of real, the real kind of like paranormal investigators. And it doesn't try and overdo it with kind of story if that makes sense it's not really like burdening it with um silly kind of special effects or contrived kind of storylines so it kind of is uh almost a, a a sort of you know just a kind of fly on the wall sort of style documentary but with a very very loose um road trip kind of sort of story but the way it's filmed it's, there's also a film crew there and, and things are kind of set up and there's some kind of jokes that are kind of obviously kind of pre-expected. Um, kind of pre like for example, uh, one of them turns up in this kind of big hearse with parapod on it and things like this. So there's obviously some scripting kind of going on. So it's not like a true uh, fly on the kind of the wall documentary. And as I said, the kind of the characters uh, seem a little bit kind of over the top, uh, especially Dodds, who I have to say, it, it comes across as kind of somewhat of, of like I say, an, an idiot and kind of really not having a lot upstairs if, it, if we're being completely honest. So much so that I can't believe this is a real person. So it kind of feels like a character. Uh, and um, Boldsworth almost feels like a bit of a bully, to be honest, uh, towards him. Um, so it's a little bit, bit of a bizarre experience. Ultimately, I would say it's somewhat original, however. But I have to be honest with you, this was quite torturous to sit through. As I have mentioned, I have not listened to any of these Parapod podcasts. So I'm just coming into this cold, uh, not having seen these guys before. But as such, it gives me the um, no expectations about what I'm seeing. And this movie was pretty torturous to sit through. Uh, but let me break down why that is. Okay, number one. It is way too long. Uh, this needed to be about 70 minutes at a push. 
uh, because there's not much going on, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's far too long, far too kind of ponderous, um, without any real meat on the bones, to be, to be quite honest. So it is quite dull in places. The characters, and I'm going to call them characters because I honestly can't believe that these two guys are genuinely like this when the camera is not on. Because Dodds just seems like I've said, like a moron. Um, and, he, you know, he just kind of, he, the way he kind of comes across just seems like uh, just not intelligent to be a real life human being. I mean, maybe it is, maybe I'm wrong, but that's, <laughs> that's just how it comes across on camera. And uh, Boldsworth, like I said, he's trying to cut his comedy stylings. Uh, I feel this is sort of pushed on the film to a certain degree. And I feel that this, this is an excuse just to fanny around, uh, to, to do this movie and just to piss ass around for, you know, however long this took to kind of shoot. And as much as he's having a kind of good time making this, I don't know if it makes for particularly kind of interesting viewing. Like I've said, if you are a viewer or, or, a, or a subscriber to the Parade Pod, you may appreciate the kind of the banter that's kind of been built up during those kind of like those podcasts uh, and things like that, and therefore get a bit more out of it. But going in cold, uh, never having sort of seen these guys before, the, yeah, there's a couple of kind of amusing kind of jokes here and there, but it, it really great. And like I've said, it just it, I just feel like he's trying to. Kind of copy Ricky Gervais in that kind of in his style of kind of jokes and things like this. In regards to the actual kind of paranormal stuff, it's really nothing to kind of like to get too excited about. There's some kind of interesting, um, uh, you know, location shooting here and there, but it's it's a little bit of a damp squid. Um, it's it's barely you can barely class it as a horror. I don't think it's particularly kind of like works as a kind of a comedy. So that it, to me, this really fails on any type of kind of um, target that, that it's been set that you can set, and as it's, it's a type of movie, it just feels like a weird personalised diary of these two men who put on kind of characters and things like this. And um, as I've said, it almost the the the, the sceptic almost feels like you know I feel like he's bullying uh, the kind of the, the the believer, and the believer comes across like he's just you know not quite the full ticket, I have to say. It's not interesting, it's way too long, it's not visually interesting, it's not narratively interesting, and the characters ultimately you can't kind of get behind. That's how I feel about this film. It's a two out of 10, it's a bit bit of a poor film, if you want my honest opinion, bit of a struggle to get through this one. Um, I feel like they could have had something had they had different people on board to have a little bit more cr cr creative control, and a little bit more direction from someone else. I think ultimately it's too self-indulgent and that is the problem with this. Um, so it's two out of 10, boring, not interesting. You might like it if you're a fan of these guys, their podcast, there you go. That's the best I recommendation I can say. As, as me, as I'm not, it's a no for me. Have you seen it? Would you see it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.